Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we will discuss about the anatomy of the bones in the hand. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The bones in the hand can be divided into three parts. The carpal bones, metacarpals, and the phalanges. We will discuss each of these separately and see what all anatomical features they possess. Starting with the carpal bones. The carpus is made up of 8 carpal bones which are arranged in two rows from lateral to medial side. The two rows are the proximal and the distal row. Bones in the proximal row are scaphoid, lunet, triquetrum, and pisiform and the bones in the distal row are trapezium trapezoid capitid and hamid some of you may wonder is there an easy way to remember all these bones so for that there is a popular mnemonic that says sally left the party to take kathy home in this image you can see how to use this sentence as a mnemonic The first alphabet of each word denotes the starting alphabet of each bone. Now, let's have a look at these bones. These bones in the green shade are the carpal bones. And as you can see, they are arranged in two rows. Starting with the bones of the proximal row. This bone is scaphoid, lunet, triquetrum, and pisiform. and coming to the bones of the distal row this is trapezium trapezoid capitid and this is hamid which has a hook called as hook of hamid there is a carpal groove present which is limited laterally by the tubercles of the scaphoid and trapezium and medially by the pisiform and the hook of hamid with this we complete the carpal bones and move on to the metacarpals The metacarpals are five miniature long bones which are numbered from lateral to medial side. Each bone has a head placed distally, a shaft, and a base placed proximally. The head is rounded. It has an articular surface for the base of the proximal phalanx. The shaft is concave at the palmar surface. The base is irregularly expanded. It has articular surfaces for the carpal bones. The metacarpal bones 1 to 4 have articular surfaces for the neighboring bones on the lateral and or medial sides of its base. Let's have a look at these bones. As you can see, this is the head of metacarpals that is placed distally. This is the shaft. And this is the base of the metacarpal that is placed proximally. The first metacarpal is shortest of them all. With this, we complete the metacarpals and move on to the last part, that is the phalanges. There are 14 phalanges in each hand, 3 for each finger. Proximal phalanx, middle phalanx and distal phalanx. And 2 for thumb, the proximal and the distal phalanx. Each phalanx has a base, shaft and head of phalanx the base is marked by a facet for articulation with the head of the metacarpal bone or other phalanx in the proximal and the middle phalanges the head has a pulley shaped articular surface in distal phalanges the head is marked anteriorly by a rough horseshoe shaped tuberosity of the distal phalanx which supports the sensitive pulp of the fingertip let's have a look As you can see these bones shaded in the orange are the phalanges. This is the proximal phalanx. This is the middle phalanx. And this is the distal phalanx. For the thumb as you can see there are only two phalanges, proximal and distal. Between these phalanges there are interphalangeal joints. With this we complete all the bones of the hand. So that is it for today guys don't forget to subscribe the channel and follow us on Instagram